Breaking tonight, a first for the state of Idaho. The COVID crisis has escalated to the point that the state has now transitioned into crisis standards of care in North and Central Idaho. That means they have too many patients and now have to prioritize patients' needs. This afternoon, Kootenai Health held a press conference to explain what that means for hospitals and for patients. Ian Smay joins us live from Kootenai Health with some answers. Ian. Yeah, Tom, that press conference was held outside the Health Resources Center here at Kootenai Health earlier this afternoon. That building is normally used for classrooms and conference space, but it has since been converted into space for extra beds. The, the building is currently holding 22 additional beds, seven of which were being used as of earlier today, and the hospital needed that extra bed space because beds are just filling up. So far, Kootenai Health leaders have said emergency care is still being offered at its normal level, but they did say in addition to elective surgeries, some more necessary procedures are now being postponed. And this all comes as doctors say resources are being stretched to their limits. The message that I'd like to send to people is that we're, you know, we're near the limit of what we can handle in this facility. We've done a lot of things to expand our care, um, to take care of more patients, but we just, it keeps growing. Right now, Kootenai Health is caring for the largest number of COVID patients it's had to handle since the pandemic began. As of today, Kootenai Health was caring for 113 of those COVID-19 patients, and of those 113, 39 are in the ICU, and 19 of those were, patients were on ventilators as of earlier today. And Kootenai Health also added that ni over 90% of COVID-19 patients they are seeing are unvaccinated. And on that note, one thing that the doctors kept stressing today during their press conference that the way to get out of this situation where hospitals are operating under crisis standards of care is to get vaccinated. They voiced frustrations at the fact that here locally, only about 40% of people eligible are vaccinated. And this comes as their current projections say that if things continue at their current rate, they could see up to 140 COVID-19 patients at one time in the future. And coming up at five and six tonight, I'll have more of those frustrations that local healthcare workers voiced today Right now, reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.